In what must be the finally, to end all finalies in the tech space, Apple has begun equipping their iPhone Pro line with displays capable of 120 hertz refresh rate. This ProMotion display can refresh from as low as 10 hertz to as high as 120 hertz. But just what is this hodgepodge figure of numbers and letters? Is 120 hertz refresh rate really the big deal Android users have been holding over our heads for years? And how does it differ from your current iPhone and iPad? In this video, I'll give you a quick explanation and my first-hand impressions of iPhone 13 Pro so you can factor it into your phone purchasing decisions. Hey there, folks. I'm Lance Somoza for Apple Insider, and I hope you all are doing really well out there. We're first going to start with a quick explanation of what refresh rates even are. With very few exceptions, most screens we are accustomed to have refresh rates, or the amount of times the display completely refreshes itself every second. This usually happens so quickly we can't even see it, and the rate is measured in hertz, which is a unit of frequency. Think of it kind of like a camera's shutter speed, which, among other things, controls the amount of motion blur in your picture. Fast shutter speeds are better for capturing quick moving subjects with less blur. And if movies are a series of images captured and played back at a certain speed to depict motion, refresh rates are also similar in that way. Your perception of a moving mouse cursor or content scrolling on a screen is heavily influenced by how fast or slow the display can update itself every second to reflect said motion. Therefore, the faster the refresh rate or higher the number, the smoother and more accurate everything will move on screen with less perceived delay. For example, competitive PC gamers often use monitors with ultra fast 144 hertz refresh rates to help reduce the amount of lag between their controls and the screen. Most of us are still accustomed to 50 or 60 hertz refresh rates on our everyday computer monitors, TVs, and smartphones, unless you're an Android user who has already experienced 120 hertz bliss. Now, 60 hertz is a decent sweet spot Apple has continued to build into their iPhones since their custom designed displays can be engineered with their own Apple silicon chips and iOS software at the tightest level, making for a buttery smooth experience they have always been rightfully praised for. Until recently, at least, as the 120 hertz displays in Samsung and other phones have challenged the status quo. Now in 2017, Apple debuted their first 120 hertz capable display inside iPad Pro, and they branded the technology ProMotion. This is how Apple markets and describes their integrated technologies, just like the Liquid Retina XDR display on iPad, or the new A15 Bionic chip in iPhone 13. ProMotion is capable of adaptive refresh rates and response times, meaning iPhone dynamically changes its rate to accommodate whatever is on screen. Slower rates like 24 hertz can be used for static or near static content like looking at a single photo or reading a web page. Faster and appropriate rates are used during things like video playback to match the content and the display ramps up to 120 hertz on the fly when interacting with the interface making for an incredibly responsive experience when you scroll a page or launch an app. And while iPad Pro can adjust between five refresh rates ranging from 24 to 120 hertz, the upgraded ProMotion in iPhone 13 Pro adjusts between a whopping 12 rates from as low as 10 hertz all the way up to 120. In other words, iPhone 13 Pro can adjust its refresh rate with seven additional stops of granularity than iPad Pro. Comparing ProMotion on each, the UI to me feels perceptively smoother on my iPhone 13 Pro Max than my 12.9 inch M1 iPad Pro from earlier this year. And I'm not sure if this is just due to the expanded range of refresh rates, the different display technologies in each like OLED versus mini LED, the screen size itself, or if it's just in my head, but navigating the system just feels better on my iPhone. And because of my experience on iPad Pro, I questioned if ProMotion would even be a big deal on iPhone. And after spending some time with my 13 Pro Max, I will tell you it is instantly noticeable from the second you turn on your phone and start setting it up. If Apple had fluidity set to 10 on previous iPhones, ProMotion effectively turns it up to 11. Here's a quick comparison of scrolling and navigating at regular speed between an iPhone 12 running at the old 60 Hertz standard and my iPhone 13 Pro Max dynamically adjusting 
up to 120 hertz. As you can see, it's absolutely noticeable here, but it's even more obvious when you watch it in slow motion. But it doesn't contribute to the overall computing power of the phone itself. And you should know right now on iPhone 13 Pro, ProMotion can ramp up to 120 hertz throughout the iOS interface inside stock Apple apps and anytime you are scrolling content in third party apps. Developers will need to first update their apps to specifically take advantage of ProMotion on iPhone. But hold up, because smooth animations are not the whole story here, and I would not recommend upgrading to an iPhone 13 Pro if all ProMotion did was make things smoother and feel faster. The absolute killer benefit of ProMotion is all about power efficiency. Because of the 12 total refresh rates, it's going to use the lower ones, like 10 hertz, more frequently for static content and slower animations. All of this translates directly into incredible battery savings in actual use, simply because the screen can refresh itself as slow or as fast as required and use less energy in the process while improving the overall experience. For example, Apple quotes up to 20 hours of streaming video playback on iPhone 13 Pro compared to just 11 hours on iPhone 12 Pro. And the difference is even more drastic when comparing the Pro Max models. And of course, this is also thanks to the physically larger batteries Apple has equipped both iPhone 13 Pro phones with. So if you're wondering what the heck took Apple so long to bring 120 Hertz and ProMotion to iPhone, it likely had to do with a myriad of factors, including cost, engineering, the amazing power efficiency, incorporating larger batteries into the design, and of course, manufacturing it all at a ridiculous scale. But if you're a longtime Apple follower like me, the wait shouldn't be terribly surprising. Frustrating at times? Absolutely. But even Steve Jobs used to say Apple releases new technology when it's ready. And sadly, this means the stars often need to align before one technology can just simply jump to another product in their lineup while meeting high standards. In any case, I fully admit I was wrong because 120 Hertz and ProMotion on iPhone is amazing for all the benefits mentioned. And I'm incredibly excited to see how developers tailor their apps and games for this new technology very soon. But there are many other factors to take into account if you are considering an iPhone 13. So make sure you like this video, subscribe to Apple Insider right here on YouTube, and check out our other videos about all the new features, including comparisons to iPhone 12. And I will catch you guys in the next one.